is we're going to go to the left. We're going to go to, let's go to ads manager. We'll start there. Yeah, that's, that's where we're going to go from ads manager to custom audiences, but we'll, we'll get to the custom audiences from over here. Okay, perfect. So then what we want to do with this one, let's, um, let's make sure we're in the right account. So at the very, very top, every time you're, you're navigating to the, through this platform, always double check that. Yes, perfect. Always double check and make sure that's the right account. You can always click on see more ad accounts and mm -hmm. see if there's anything below that. So the one that we're running out of is that one, right? The top one. Yes. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let's, um, what you'll want to do is let's, let's, yeah, let's get out of there and let's just um, check that box to the left of the blue dot. Let's let's delete this ad right here because this is just one I think we just were playing around with. Check yeah, this so, one. Yeah, check the box and then just hit um over to the right, you see more, the drop down more. In there you'll see delete. Delete. Yes. So there's three stages to 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 the ad to a setup. And these are the three, these are the three stages right here. The campaigns, and they're just set up in, in these three tabs. So you have the campaign tab, you have the middle tab, which is the ad sets, and then you have the ad. So those are your three steps, super, super basic. And so when you hit the green button, the create, that's what we're gonna go into. We're gonna go in and we're gonna set up each tab. Mm -hmm. So in the first tab campaign, go ahead and, and press the green button. In the first, in the first tab um, is where we set up the objective. So the whole, the whole quote unquote campaign what Facebook means by campaign, it means what which objective are you shooting for? So since we're here, let me kind of explain this part right here because this, this right here is the most important. It's the most basic and it's the most important when it comes to Facebook ads and Instagram ads. It's knowing which objective to choose. And that's where I see everyone, everyone miss, miss the boat is they just simply, they have one goal in mind. So whenever you run an ad, like there's a goal like if you were to run an ad for your for your business, there's a there's an end goal in mind. Like we're only running this freaking ad to do something, right? There's an objective. There's a goal. So whatever that goal is, it has to match up with with what we choose here. So I see time and time again where a person will have a goal, but then they'll come in here and choose the wrong objective, and then they'll wonder why their goal never was accomplished. Right. So if the goal is to make a sell or if the goal is to capture a lead or if the goal was to get someone to schedule an appointment, you're running an ad, you want someone to click on it and schedule an appointment, whatever that objective is, we have to know the right one here. So let me just briefly explain, explain, explain what the most popular ones are and then explain what what the other ones are. And we're going to focus today on on video views, which is which is the most the mo one of the yeah, pretty much the most popular but um, you, I want you to also know what these other ones, you know, are, are all about as well. So to the left, just going from left to right, the awareness section, the brand awareness and the reach. So these two sections right here, brand awareness and reach, that's kind of for, for, those, for those types of businesses that are, that are looking to simply run their first couple ads. So, so if you're not doing a video and let's say you run an ad of an image right? You just have a basic image of something and you're running an ad on that. That could be, and, and it's your first couple ads. Maybe it's your first ad, your first, maybe your second, maybe your third, um, just your first few ads. You can go brand awareness and reach, but that's kind of only for those that have money to burn, in my opinion, because with brand awareness and reach, it's kind of just it's kind of just like posting organically. It's kind of like just going to your Instagram and just posting. It's just like, it's just like letting people know, okay, cool. There's a post. It's just, but with, when you spend money on the brand awareness and reach, it obviously reaches more people, mm -hmm. but there's real, no hardcore, hardcore call to action. And that's, that's the thing about ads. Like when you run an ad, there's a call to action, unless we just have money to burn, unless we're just freaking balling like that. And we just got it like that. And we don't give a damn about a budget and we can spend whatever the hell we want to spend. Then, okay, cool. Maybe brand awareness and reach. But for most of us, it's like, man, like if I'm going to spend a freaking dollar, like something better happen, right? Like if I'm going to run an ad, something better happen. And so that's why most don't go brand awareness and reach because there's real no call to action. It's kind of just like promoting your brand when it's like, okay, that's cool. But I also need that person to click and give up their name and number. Or I also need that person to click and buy my shit. 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't just need to reach them. I need them to freaking click and buy, right? Mm -hmm. So that if the objective was to buy, if the objective was to get someone to schedule an appointment, it's for sure not brand awareness or reach. So I, I don't even know, I don't normally, I don't even explain that, but I want you to know which each one, you know, consists of. So brand awareness and reach, you won't really be doing much, much, much of that um, at all at all. So the middle, the consideration, you have traffic, engagement, app installs, video views, lead generation, and messages. So with, with traffic, traffic is all about getting people to see your ad, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook, and getting them to click. So they click, they go to your web page, and that's it. And so hopefully on that web, web page, there's something attractive. Hopefully there's some type of call to action. Hopefully the branding of it looks good because if it's a horrible web page and we're running traffic, people aren't going to do nothing when they get there. So people run traffic mainly for one reason, and that's kind of to capture data. So for example, as I keep trying to explain, the whole purpose of ads is to is to get something to happen, is to accomplish a goal. But with with traffic, I, I would say the goal is to simply capture data. So for example, watch, pull up Facebook, go to go to the tab that you have at the top with the number three. Yeah, click on that one. Go to your okay, perfect. Perfect example. Let's scroll down, let's go through your newsfeed and let's just see a random ad. Let's scroll down and, and when we see sponsored, okay, cl click on click on this one. Click on this ad right here. Just click learn more. This right here could be a traffic ad where a person clicks, they come over here, but they don't do anything. So the yeah. advertiser, this Gov Home program company, they could possibly running a, be running a traffic ad right now. Now, chances are they're running a different ad, but it for sure could be a traffic. Here's, here's, here's what, here, here's the, here's, here's the reason why someone would, would run a traffic is to get someone here so I can track your visit, put you in an audience, and then show you another ad. So right now, you just saw that ad, you uh -huh. clicked on it, uh -huh. you came to this page, and then you left. Yeah. That was worth it. If I have the budget, that was worth it to run a traffic ad. Because what I'm doing is I'm showing my ad, go back to Facebook, we're showing this ad to thousands of people in a certain area, in a certain city, in a certain country, whatever. We're showing this ad to thousands of people. But guess what? Only a few hundred are going to actually click. You were one of them. Mm -hmm. So when you clicked and you went to that web page, you didn't do anything, but you went there. So now Helpful Hero, which is the company running this ad, now they have you as a quote unquote traffic visitor. So now what they're able to do with that is put you in a, in a, in a different audience. So let's say we show this ad to 10,000 people, but only 300 clicked and went to the web page. Now, and, and Maria is one of them. Now those 300 people are in an audience that, that we're gonna set up. It's in, it's in what Facebook calls a custom audience. So now I could take that audience of 300 people and I know that these people clicked on my ad. These people went to my page. These people were more interested than the other, you know, freaking 9,000 people that we showed the ad to. So let's focus on these 300. They're our custom audience. So now what we can do is we can take that audience and show them another ad. And so I would run an ad specifically to that custom audience. Hey guys, this is David with Helpful Hero. Hey, I noticed you clicked on our ad and went to our page, but you didn't fill out the form. Let me tell you why it's beneficial and how and, and how we're here to help you get your business to the next level. What, does that go like to the Facebook? Yeah, so now I can run a whole different ad and only target the 300 people that landed on our webpage. So scary. <laughs> so it's like now I'm narrowing it down. I ran the ad to 10,000 people. Only 300 of them actually clicked. Now I got those 300 in a custom audience that I'm going to show an ad to next. And that's how, like, I, I, I know I had to have explained this to you before, but, but I'll, I'll, I'll explain it again. You ever 
like you have you ever experienced where you're just online and you're just looking at random stuff on different websites and then before you know it you see an ad on something completely yeah, different I, I will always think that they're stalking yeah right you it, it, we get this negative feeling where it's like holy crap these people are freaking following me they're stalking mm-hmm. me right yeah. but all it is is tracking through facebook facebook they're either tracking the person who watches the video to give you that data because you're the advertiser you're the one that put the ad out it's a video And it's a one minute video. So now you're able to track those who watch a percentage of it. So, Mm -hmm. so Facebook's either allowing you to do that, or they're allowing you to track the, the, the visitors who landed on the web page. So then you can show them another ad in the future. So if you were on my web page, you clicked, you went over to my web page and I was showing you five different handbags, red, green, purple, yellow, and blue. Maria clicked on the red one. And then boom, once she clicks on the red one, it takes her straight to a completely different page where it shows her the price. And now we're tracking that. So I know for a fact that she landed on the red bag page. So when I go run another ad, I'm going to run it to only the people who clicked on the red bag and I'm going to show them a discount. Mm. So when I run that next ad, hey guys, I noticed you were looking at the red handbags. Hey, you got to love these bags. Guess what? We're putting out a 15% discount if you click learn more and buy your product now. See you guys soon. Mm -hmm. Like that's a very specific ad targeting a very specific audience of, 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 of based on what they did. They watched your shit. They clicked on your web page. They just didn't do anything. They are tracked. Everything we're doing is freaking tracked, but you don't got to look at it in a scary way. Look at it in a, in a way where it's like, it's, it's a good thing. I look at all that shit. I don't look at that as crazy privacy issues. I don't look at that as scary as stalking. I don't look at it like that at all because what we're really doing is giving people what they want. I'm only showing it to people who clicked on my shit. If you watched my video, I'm going to show you another one. If you clicked and went to my webpage, I'm going to show you another one. You're the one engaging, not me. Yeah. Right. So it's like, it allows us to narrow down our audience and only show our ads to the people who are paying attention. Got it. So back to the Facebook ad part, go back to the other part. So traffic, you clicked on that ad, you went to the web page, you didn't do anything, you left, but we still track that. That's mm-hmm. why traffic is good to get people to a website so I can then create an audience of all those people and then again show them another ad. That's traffic. So traffic is when you have your own web page or, or some type of website. Um, that's a traffic ad. Engagement is when is when you leave it on Facebook. So so go back to Facebook real quick. Let's 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 see if we can scroll through, scroll down, keep going through the newsfeed. You ever come across those posts? Uh, like oh oh, perfect example. Go back up, back up, back up, back up, up 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 up. Right here, right here. Okay, scroll down a little bit. Right here, right here. NBC News. Okay. Now this right here is not an ad. This isn't an ad. It's NBC New- News. They're they're freaking huge. They're obviously a worldwide brand, so of course they're gonna have a ton of engagement. But if this was a normal average small business owner right? And it was not NBC News. And this was an actual ad. Whenever you see the word sponsored, this is not an ad because there's no sponsored. It's just, you know, they're just posting. Um, But if you, if it was an ad, you'd see the word sponsored right below NBC News. It'd say sponsored, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the type of engagement that you would see. 2.7 likes, 1,000 comments, 273 uh, shares. That right there is what we call engagement. So that's when that's when we don't have a web page. We don't have um, any type of other messenger bot or automated series set up. It's, 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 it's where we're leaving them on Facebook. So all we want to do is we want to run, go back to the other, um, go back to Facebook, the ads part. We, if we run an engagement ad, the whole purpose of that is to get people to engage, is to get people to comment, get people to share, get people to like the post. So whenever you come across a sponsored post and it has a shitload of likes like that, that's mm-hmm. an engagement ad. Okay. That's engagement. Okay. And then app installs, you don't even know need need. I don't, you don't even need to know about that. That's that's for apps. Like if we have an app, right? So that's pretty self-explanatory. So we won't be even focused on that at all. And then video views is is exactly what it is. It's video views. Now, here back to what I'm trying to explain a few minutes ago, where it's like nine out of ten times when we're running an ad, when we're running an ad, we have an objective, 
And most of us are trying to either capture lead, get an appointment or make a sell, right? Mm -hmm. so normally it's one of those three. So let's say for example, we have, a, let's say we have a store and we're selling nails. Let's say we have an online website and we are literally selling nails, right? Mm -hmm. We're selling nails. We have an online website and we're doing videos. We're running ads on videos. Now, our objective with our website is to make sales. We got nails for sale, right? I got different packages. I got different colors. I got them all looking nice on my website. My whole objective to run an ad is to freaking sell some of these damn things, right? Is to make some sales. But we're running a video to show people our product and we end up going with video views. That right there would be the wrong objective because the wrong objective to choose right here because our goal is to get sales. Our goal is to sell these products, right? Yeah. Get people to our website to buy some shit. Like that's our goal. But where we screwed up because the obvious, it was a video that we were running. We thought video views. We thought if we can get thousands of people to watch this video, we're going to have a shitload of people buy. That's mm -hmm. not the case. Yeah. Facebook is very specific. You choose video view, views, that's exactly what you're going to get. Got it. You're going to get 27,000 people to view the video, but no one clicked. Yeah. You're going to get 27,000 people to view the video, but no one bought shit. Mm -hmm. So that's what I see a lot of people do as well. Again, what you're choosing here may be different from what your goal is. Our goal is to sell nails on our website. We shouldn't have went with video views, right? So Video views, the reason why I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share that with you today, because here's why video views is very similar to traffic. Again, with traffic, our whole reason to run traffic is to get people to click, go to our webpage so we could track them. And then I could take that visitor, put them in a custom audience and show them another ad. It's the same exact thing with video views. Now with video views, they're not clicking and going to a webpage with video views. They're just watching it. So with video views, let's say we put out a one minute video, a one minute video of, 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 of a spa or a salon, whatever the heck, like it's just a one minute video. Mm -hmm. What we do with that one minute video is we run it as a Facebook ad and then we track those who watch a percentage of it. So if I put out a one minute video and let's say I ran it to 10,000 people. Let's say I ran the, the, the one minute video to an audience of 10,000 people, but only 2,000 actually watched it. That's the custom audience. So I would run that video view ad with one goal and one goal only. And that's to track the people who watch it so I can then put them in a custom audience and show them another ad. And the reason why the custom audiences are so important is because you have to start, you have to know your audience. If I, if I run it to 10,000 people and 2000 watch it, well then shit, I'm going to focus on those 2000. Mm -hmm. That's, that's why, that's why us as consumers were programmed to see something multiple times before we buy it. Now, some of us are crazy impulse buyers. Like I could be an impulse buyer at times. I know a lot of females, you guys are shit. A lot of you guys are impulse buyer. You see something, you freaking buy it. But most of us are not really like that. Like most of us, especially some of us that are on a budget, like we don't just buy stuff just to randomly. Those of us that, those of us that have kids and shit like that, it's like, dude, we don't just randomly buy stuff anymore. Maybe when we were younger, but as we get older, I don't know if a lot of that goes on anymore, unless you're just balling like that. But my point is, is the fact that us as consumers, psychologically, we have to see something multiple times mm -hmm. before we buy. And, and that's exactly the analogy. The best analogy I can give is, is, is I remember when I was a kid, I don't, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I was always watching cartoons. I was always watching TV. Um, I was all, always watching my different random shows, right? That's all we had. I didn't have a freaking computer. There was no damn cell phone, right? It was just damn TV. So I grew up watching just the TV, right? Um, and I remember seeing nothing but cereal commercials. I would see nothing but soda commercials. I would see I would see Pepsi commercials. I would see Coca Cola commercials. I would see Frosted Flakes commercials. Mm -hmm. And when you watch these type of commercials, even today, there's a bunch of random commercials. When you watch these commercials, there's a reason why we see them on every commercial. There's a reason why Fruit Loops comes on every freaking commercial. 
because they know that they have to program it in your mind. They know that they have to show it to you multiple times before it's branded in your brain. And when you go to the store, that's all you see is Fruit Loops, <laughs> right? It's psychological. It's, it's, it's all psychology. Yeah. So, so when, it, when we come over here and create custom audiences, that's why I'm doing it because I have to show you another ad, but I don't want to show it to random people. I want to show it to the people who watched my last commercial. Yeah. If you watched my last commercial, well then shit, you're, you're more interested than the person who didn't watch it. So now I'm going to put you in an audience and show you another ad. And then, and then, and then once you watch that one, I'm going to put you in, in another audience and I'm going to show you another ad. So that's, 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 that's branding, that's psychology, that's consumer behavior. We have to see something multiple times. That's why you as the advertiser, it's so important to categorize these people and continue to show them more ads because as people continue to see you, they start to believe you, they start to trust you, they start to want to do business with you. And before you know it, they're clicking and going to your webpage and giving up their information because they've seen seven ads before and they now know you're the real deal. You got it. But where everyone drops the ball is everyone will run one or two ads and that's it. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, you freaking shot yourself in the foot. Like you gotta, you gotta do more than that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta create the custom audience. You gotta get these people in an audience and show those people the next ad. Don't just keep running random ads. What's, what's that? I was always told to be annoying. You gotta be annoying. (laughs) You know what? But, but I'm glad you brought that up. You would think it's annoying, but we're putting a twist to it. The twist is more where we're just continually getting in front of people with education. So whatever your topic is, whatever your niche is, whatever you're bringing to the marketplace, and, and, and it, you can apply it to anything, to your nail business, to coaching, to whatever, you can apply it to anything. Rather than thinking that we're pitching shit on people, rather than thinking we're selling people on in, in these ads, mm-hmm. the way you, you have to do it, the, the approach you have to have to take is you're educating so 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 think of it as an education think of it as as sharing content to teach people like okay. you're teaching people a certain yeah. topic you're teaching people about your business you're not pitching them and so when you can come off teaching then people are going to fall in love with you like yeah. and and there's so much like even with just your nail that whole industry alone there's so much you can teach me yes i don't know nothing about nails you can yeah. take me from A to Z and teach me every little thing and create content around that teaching. And that yeah. teaching becomes your advertising. So when people are seeing you, they're like, holy shit, not Maria again. She's always trying to pitch some damn nail product on us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They won't be thinking that way. They're gonna think, they're gonna be thinking, damn, I keep seeing her. She keeps teaching me new shit. I like this chick. Who the hell is this? Okay. Because it's a different approach. I'm now teaching people something rather than pitching them. Yeah. Right. So, so that's all you want to do is you want to continue to educate. You want to continue to teach those who are engaging with previous ads. And, and the way we know that is because I know you watched my shit. I know you clicked on my traffic ad because Facebook's tracking it all. And now I have you in an audience. Mm -hmm. So, so this stuff is super, super powerful. And, and, and um, that's what it's all about. It's all about continually getting in front of your audience that are engaging. That's why these custom audiences are so important. And and traffic and video views um, are two objectives that are mainly used to to create audiences, to create custom audiences. Um, Lead generation is exactly what it is. It's to capture leads. It's when you don't have a web page, when you use Facebook's web page just to capture leads. Like you're running an ad, maybe you're giving away something for free, or maybe you're trying to get someone to schedule an appointment and 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 um and, and, and they're clicking, going to a Facebook form, filling it out, and then you get a notification. So it's just lead generation is not, is not normally what I run at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll show you the ones that I do, that I do run um, when it comes to capturing leads, but it's not lead generation. So messages is exactly what, what it is. You're running a Facebook ad, you click, and you automatically are sent to the direct message. So you're automatically sent to the Facebook Messenger. When you watch, go back to the Facebook tab, the newsfeed, that um, one ad we, or actually you can click on any ad or go down, scroll down. Let's see if we find any random sponsored ad. So um, right here, the video. Okay, look, go back up the video. Okay, look, right here. Okay, so play that video. Let me, let me touch on this real quick. 
to China and welcome to Press my pause. year. Okay, that's a 32 second video. Okay, mm -hmm. so all she's doing, welcome to China, all mm -hmm. she's doing with 32 seconds, like there couldn't, 32 seconds is, is somewhat of a good amount of time, um, but it's not a whole lot of time to really pitch something. It's really the whole purpose and the whole reason why she's running this short 32 seconds is to just simply capture the audience who watches it. Okay. That's it. That's it. So, so, and, and, and also you can, you can see that she's not only running this and you can run multiple objectives. I can run a traffic ad. I can run a engagement ad. I can run a, a, a conversion ad. I can do a, a lead ad. I can do all kinds of different ads at the same time on the same post on the same video on the same ad so what she's done with this one which i know for a fact what she's done is she's obviously ran video views she probably done that for sure but what she also did with this is she's ran engagement because there's no way you have four thousand likes 755 comments and 1.1 thousand shares there's absolutely no way you would have got that by just posting it on social media there's no way you would have got that by running a video view ad because video view is exactly what it is. Video views, it's not engagement, mm -hmm. right? So when you see that again, right there at the bottom, 4.1, 1.1, when you see that, that's mm -hmm. for sure an engagement. But again, what she could also be doing for sure is running video views and then capturing those who watch either 32 seconds of it or she can create an audience of those who watch 10 seconds of it, she could capture the audience and create the audience, which I'm going to show you how to do today. She can create the audience of those who watch this video for 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. So it's totally up to you. It's totally up to her. It's totally up to you based on whatever amount of seconds you want. It's, it's based on percentages, but it's up to you. I can, I can create an audience of those who watch all 32 seconds. We can create an audience of those who watch 25% of it, right? Okay. So, so what I was going to say with this one was the messenger. When you, when you run a message ad, that was the other one, messages, that's the sponsored ad, that's the video, you click, and right when you click, it takes you straight to Facebook Messenger. That's a message ad. Okay. So if you don't have a lead generation form with Facebook or you're not running lead, lead generation, if you um, don't have a web page, you're not running traffic um, or anything like that, and you, you simply want to get people to click on your ad, but you want to take them straight to Facebook Messenger. And, 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 and those who do that have a handful of messages that are already automated, ready to go out. Because you're not going to run an ad and have to manually message everybody, right? So when, you, when it comes down to message ads, it's really, it's really, um, 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 it's really knowing how to set up an automated messenger bot which which is a, which 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 is what a, what Facebook calls many chat, M A N Y chat mm -hmm. many chat. That's a separate software. It's free. It's free. For, it's free for a while, and then and then the more leads you get, you got to pay for it. But that right there is an automated messenger. So when you run message ads, a person clicks. It automatically takes them to Facebook Messenger, and then a conversation automatically starts because you programmed it that way. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's a good way to get people, you know, interested. You run a message ad. You can for sure run message ads, you know, as well. So I don't run a ton of those messages, um, a ton of message ads, but, but I know people that do, and they're, they're super effective and they're super easy to set up, but, um, but that's, that's messages. So the last part to the right conversions, mm -hmm. catalog sell, sales and store traffic. When it comes to running ads, Again, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, there's three main objectives to capture a lead, to get someone to schedule an appointment, or to make a sell. Nine out of 10 people who are trying to achieve one of those, that are trying to do one of those, make a sell, capture a lead, or get an appointment, mm -hmm. run conversion ads. 9.9 9 .9 out of 10 people. So if that's the goal, to make a sell, to get an appointment, or to just simply capture a lead, then conversions is the objective we go with. So okay. me personally, I run a lot of conversion ads um, because I'm getting someone to my webpage. I'm trying to get them to click and enter their information. It's very different than traffic. With traffic, I'm trying to get you to click and go to my webpage and that's it. 
Very, very simple. Traffic. Click, go to my webpage, and that's it. But with conversions, I'm actually trying to get you to do something. That's mm -hmm. conversions. So Facebook ends up only showing your ad to those who are likely to buy, for, to those who are likely to enter their information. That's conversions. So if I'm sending you to my website, and let's say we have nails, we're selling nails. We have an online website, we have an online store, and we are selling nails, right? It's not traffic, it's not engagement, it's not video views, it's not lead generation, brand awareness, reach messages, it's none of that shit. It is not engagement, it's conversions. Because our objective is to sell our product. So we want to run ads to people who are likely to buy. That's conversions. That's mm -hmm. conversions. So looking to get someone to buy, looking to capture a lead and get someone's information, um, that's conversions. So conversions, conversions, conversions. Um, that's the biggest one on Facebook. That's the biggest one on Instagram and on Facebook. It's conversion ads. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then catalog sales, store traffic. That's when you just have, have, have an online website where you're selling products mm -hmm. and you want to maybe promote different products on the website, then catalog sales and store traffic, um, could, could be one. And store traffic is also when you have an offline business. So if you have an actual store, like a brick and mortar store, and you're trying to get people to your store, store traffic is, is an ad you can run for sure as well. Okay. So <clears throat> if we're staying online, if we're trying to get people to a website, if we're trying to get people to enter their information, nine out of 10 times, it will be conversions, um, or it's conversions and, and traffic and traffic. So those two are the most popular conversions and traffic. Okay. So again, we'll focus right now on video views on setting up a video ad and then, and then, and then creating a custom audience of those who watch the video. Um, mm -hmm. And again, the whole reason why video mm -hmm. views is to simply find our audience. So I'm going to run the video ad to 10,000 people. 2,000 are going to watch my video. Those 2,000 become my audience. That's worth the few bucks that it would take to run that video ad, right? So so let's do this. Let, let's click on video views. I'm, I'm going to take you through, through a full-blown um, setup, setup of, of video views. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, cool. Okay, perfect. Give me one second. Man, stupid Minnie Mouse keeps going on behind me. Okay, cool. So, oh, um, okay, so video views, that's the objective, right? That's the objective. So now hit this drop down real quick. That above the continue button, that drop down, that arrow, that, yeah, hit that real quick. So scroll down. This is simply naming our three tabs. So just like I showed you in the background, right where the green button's at, we have those three tabs. That's the setup. These are the three set, the three steps. So campaign is what we just chose. We just chose video views. So the ad set is the second tab in the middle. And then the ad is the third tab to the right. So when it comes down to it and you come into this dashboard and you look at the dashboard and you want to know what ads are going on and what ads are off, you want to be able to look at, look at it from this view and know exactly what ad that is. Like if you don't name it here, then you'll have to click on the ad, go into the ad, see what ad it is, see where you're targeting. You'll have to do way too many clicking when you can just simply name it right here and know exactly what ad that is. So in the campaign level, what I normally do is I'll end up naming it the objective. So for example, if we were running a video ad on the on our newest product, which happens to be those freaking pink nail, that, that pink nail set. Mm -hmm. In the campaign name, I would name it, I would name the video that first of all, all these videos that, that you start doing, if you do start doing videos, just start mm -hmm. naming them. Like know what video it is. That's the one with the pink nail set. Like just know randomly, know a name, just give it a name. Okay. Because that name you can carry over here. And what I would put is I'd put, and let's just use that as the example. In the campaign, the title, go ahead and name it um, 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 Pink Nail Video. Go ahead and write down Pink pink Nail Video in, in the campaign right there. Yeah, perfect. Pink Nail Video. And then in parentheses, in parentheses, you can put video views. 
because that's the objective we're going with. And once we're done with all this, and then we look at the dashboard, this titling will all make sense. Okay. So that's how I normally title the first one. Whatever objective I went with, I'll put it in parentheses and then I'll name whatever it was, whether that was a pink nail image or that was a pink nail video, I'll, I'll, I'll put it you know, very descriptive like that. And then the, the, second, the second one, the second title, the ad set, that is, that is simply the, the middle tab where we end up choosing the location, we end up choosing our budget, we end up choosing our, our targeting, um, we end up choosing the age or the gender. Mm -hmm. Like all that is done on the second step, which is the ad set. But normally when I title it, I'll normally title it maybe that maybe either the state I'm targeting or maybe the, 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 the age group I'm targeting, or maybe the country I'm targeting. So in your case, let's say we were just targeting, let's say we were just targeting New Jersey. Yeah. So put New Jersey, New Jersey. And let's say we were targeting, um, um, and in your case, you're only, you're only targeting women, right? Uh, no. Oh, you're men. targeting men and women? Yeah, because men do nails. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, so then shit. What I would do in the ad set level, the second title, I would put New Jersey and then I would put the hyphen dash, mm -hmm. just put a dash like a hyphen. Um, and then and then I would put maybe, maybe, maybe um, M and 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 W for men and women, because I'm targeting men and women. So I'll just put M and W just so I know that 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 I'm doing men and women, and then maybe put another another dash, another hyphen, and and maybe put um the age, maybe put, maybe put whatever the age, whatever your age demographic is, go ahead and put that right there. Just put whatever, whatever your age targeting is. Mm. Can I do the like 18 and over? Yeah. Do 18 plus do 18 to whatever, 18 to 18 plus. Perfect. So now as we go into that actual step, we still have to set all that, all that up. But right here, we're simply giving it a description. We're simply titling it. And again, once we're done here, I'll show you where it's at and you'll see why this makes sense. Um, so ad set level, second step, the city, men and women, 18 plus, that's a good enough description and title for that one. And then the third one is simply the, I, I end up naming that the same as the top one, pink nail video, pink nail video. That, that's the ad. That's the third tab to the very, very right. Um, and I'll just end up naming it, naming it the same pink nail video because that's where we actually put the ad. We actually put the video on that third uh, step, which is the ad. And, and that's perfect. So that's it. So, so this right here, we chose video views. We named all three steps and then we hit continue. That's it. So now, now we go into step one, which is a campaign. Now, right here, this is tab number one. And there's only three steps to running these ads, whether it's a, a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad. That's it, just these three steps. So we, we just completed um, the, the beginning of step one. Now this is step one. And all we're gonna do here is the special ad category. That doesn't apply to you. What, go ahead and hit that drop down. I want you to at least know what it is. Um, special ad category are for industries in credit, employment, housing, and social issues. So. If, you, if you're in any of those types of industries, then you'll have to choose the drop down and choose the correct um, one. Um, mm -hmm. Like I, I help a lot of real estate agents run, run Facebook ads. So they always have to choose housing, Okay. right? So, and in your case, if, you're, if you were hiring people, right? Then you would go with employment, mm -hmm. right? Ads for jobs, mm -hmm. right? So depending on what you're, you're in, then you would choose the drop down. But if, if, if none of those apply, then, then don't worry. Because if, if, if your business page um, 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 has to do with any of these, and then you don't choose any of them, and you go and set up this ad, the ad will get rejected. Okay. So that's why this part's super, super important. Now it doesn't apply to you, but if it did, you would have to choose it um, or, or the ad would just get rejected. Um, and when your ad gets rejected, it's no big deal. All you got to do is come in and, and, you know, fix the details or whatever, and then, and then publish it again. And then, and then Facebook will approve it. But, um, but, it, but the, 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 if we, if we can eliminate, you know, getting ads rejected, the better, we don't even want to go there. So we don't need anything in the, in the special ad category. So go down, we'll scroll down and you'll always want to make sure that this bottom one is off. 
So campaign budget optimization off. That's it. Okay, perfect. So look at this. This is step one. This is the campaign tab, which is step one of three. That's it. It's 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 choosing the, the special ad category at the top, but if it doesn't apply to us, then we don't choose anything. It's making sure that the campaign budget optimization is off. Sometimes it'll be on. And that's it. That's step one. So go ahead and click on the green one. I mean, the blue one. Next. Uh -huh. That's the first tab. Next. That's it. So go ahead and click on the blue button at the bottom. Where? Oh, next. Yes, next. So that's step one. That's the campaign level. That's it. So now we're in step two. This is where we gave the title, New Jersey, m and 18 plus. We titled it that. Now we have to come down here and actually set all that up. So let's start with the budget. And we're not going to run this ad right now, but we're just going to do all this as, as an example. Um, when it comes to the budget, let's start here. Let's just go from top to bottom. What I normally do is I'll go lifetime budget. And it's the same dollar amount. Facebook just spends it different. So daily budget is exactly what it is. If you go with 20 bucks a day, that's what Facebook's going to spend is 20 bucks a day. Okay. If I go lifetime, go ahead and go lifetime. Let's say, let's say I was going to spend, let's say I was going to spend 20 bucks a day. And that's, that's on the high end. You, you won't even start there. You could start much lower, but let's say just using the 25, 20 or using the $20 example, let's say we were going to run an ad for 20 bucks a day and we were going to run it for 10 days, right? 200 bucks. Facebook, if we had the daily budget, then Facebook spends the, the, the 20 bucks a day, daily budget. That's what you set up, daily budget. But what I normally do is I'll go lifetime budget and it's the same dollar. So, so rather than going 20 bucks daily, I'll just end up putting 200. So right down the 500, take that out, put 200. I'll just go lifetime budget 200 and then I'll set up the calendar for a 10 day period. Oh, okay, okay. Right. So it's the same dollar amount. It's just spent differently. Facebook, sometimes they'll spend 20 bucks in a given day. Sometimes they may spend 22 bucks on that day. Sometimes they may spend 17 bucks on that day. But as long as they spend the full 200 within my 10 day period, that's all I care about. Okay. So rather than giving them a cap of certain amount per day, I just give Facebook the flexibility to spend it however, they, how, however you want to spend it. Just you have 10 days spend it however the hell you spend it okay. right so so that's what i normally do and, I'll, and then i'll set the calendar now mm -hmm. what i'll always do is i'll always set the calendar for the next day so let's 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 do that right now so the next day is the 23rd and i'll always go with 6 a.m so go ahead and go go ahead and go what's today today's a today's a what is actually Second. today's is today 21st or 22nd 22nd. 22nd. Okay. So, so it's not going to be April 22nd. It's going to be April 23rd. Mm -hmm. So at the top, you're going to go April. You're going to go April 23rd on the start date. On the start date. Okay. Okay. Now the time 6 a.m. will always go the next day at 6 a.m. So just change out that 141 to 6 a.m. Weird. Okay, okay, perfect. And then the same for the end time as well. So we're going to go out 10 days. So April 23rd, what is mm -hmm. that? April 23rd to the what? To the, um, to Ten. the, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. May 3rd. Perfect. So there's my, there's my 200 bucks. It's just like I went 20 bucks a day, same shit, like same, you know, same dollar amount. I'll just spread it out this way instead. Um, and then I'll just go same start time, same end time, always the next day. Okay. Always the next day at 6am. So that's, that's it. That's the budget. That's it. Um, now let me kind of explain more of this budget real quick. The way you kind of look at these ads as you start to run them, as you start to set them up, um, it's all based on, it's all based, because because the number one question that people have based on my experience speaking to so many people on this topic is the number one question is how much do I spend? 
Like what, what's a good budget, right? I get that all the time. Like what's a good budget? How much should I spend? You know, how do I know that I'm not spending too much? The way you want to look at the budget is you want to look at what the hell you're selling. Like, what are we selling? Like, what are we selling? Or, or, or what's the cost of my service? Like if I'm looking for coaching clients and I charge 500 bucks for a coaching, for a coaching client. Okay. Well then 500 bucks needs to be my budget. Because if that's how much I make per client, then I should be, sp- I should be willing to spend that on Facebook ads. Because if I can spend 500 a month, I get, I make 500 when I get one client. Mm-hmm. So if I can spend 500 in a month, if I just got one freaking client, I break even. But if I got two clients, I profit. Mm-hmm. So that's how you kind of want to break down these ads. Let's say, for example, we're running four ads a month. Then, and our and 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 let's say let's use the five hundred dollar, mm-hmm. the five hundred dollar example. If we're running four ads a month, one ad every week, because again, we're running an ad capturing the audience. We're running another ad retargeting the audience. We're running another ad capturing the audience. We're running another ad retargeting the audience. So every time we're running ads, we're tracking the data. We're, we're either creating an audience of those who watched a video, or we're either creating an audience of those who landed on our website, our website, but didn't do anything. Those are audiences. So as we, as we start to run these ads and target these different audiences, I want to run an ad every, every week to make that happen. So if our budget overall is 500 a month, then I should be spending at least 125 a week. Mm-hmm. So right here, this lifetime budget, maybe I go 125 and I set the calendar for seven days. Mm-hmm. Now, that's the budget on the surface. Like that's just looking at the basic numbers. That's the budget. But we may not run it for all seven days because the way we'll, we'll analyze this is we want to look at it in four days. So if we set this ad to go live tomorrow, the 23rd, and we let and we and we set the calendar for a seven day period, what we want to do is we want to be able to look at it in four days. Mm-hmm. If nothing has happened in four days, mm-hmm. then we'll shut it off. Okay. And 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 what is nothing? Nothing is we didn't get an appointment, we did not capture a lead, or we didn't make a sell. Okay. So if that, if none of that happens within a four day period, nine out, of, nine out of 10 times, we won't even let it run the full seven days. We'll just shut it off. Okay. We'll shut it off and just run another ad. Okay. Right. So, 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 so that way you're not burning money. That way you're not just running ads for the hell of it with no, nothing happening. You want to be able to look at it in four days and be like, okay, cool. We got a couple leads. We got maybe a couple cells, let it keep going. Or maybe nothing has happened and it's already been four days shut it off. Mm -hmm. So that's how you kind of want to look at it. You want to be able to analyze it and and, and analyze the ad in four days, look at the ad in four days and looking at the ad, it's not hardcore knowing math or anything like that. It's just looking at the damn numbers. It's like, damn, okay. Did we get any sales? Did we capture a lead? Has anybody scheduled an appointment? Mm -hmm. Bottom line, it's really, it's really just that. Did any of that happen? And if it did not, okay, well then shit, maybe the ad's not the right ad. Shut it off. Okay. Run another, run another one. You know, so that's how you kind of want to look at the budget is, is based on what you're, what, what you're selling or, or, or what that end, you know, consumer is paying, um, because that will ultimately determine how much you can spend on, on ads. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the budget. So scroll down, scroll down, that's the budget. And then now we'll come down here. And as we start to build, go back up right here, right here, right here. As we start to build these audiences that I keep talking about, this is where we target them. So right there in custom audiences, click inside that box. When you click in there, see, so look, people who engage with my IG, I think we set that custom audience up last time. Mm -hmm. That right there is a custom audience. Mm -hmm. So you can choose that audience right there and only run this ad to people who have engaged with your IG. That's your custom audience. When I click and I see the drop down, I'll also see people who watched my video. I'll also see the custom audience that I set up of those who landed on my website but didn't do anything. 
So every custom audience that we create from this point on, we'll see right here in the dropdown. And so if I want to run an ad only to them, then I can run an ad only to them. Or if I want, if I want to exclude that audience from seeing my next ad, I can also exclude. So click out of this, get out of this part. Okay, so exclude right there, exclude, click on exclude. Now, not only are we creating audiences of those who engage, but a very, very important audience to also create are those who already bought your shit. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you went to my website and you bought whatever it was, or if you went to my website and you gave up your, your, your information, your name and number, and you downloaded my free ebook, or whatever, or if you went to my website and you actually scheduled an appointment, whatever, whatever we're going for. If our goal was accomplished, that lead, that person needs to be in a custom audience. So for example, for example, when I brought you on as a client, I put you in a custom audience. Mm -hmm. So now Maria is in a custom audience. The name of my custom audience is Facebook ad coaching clients. Mm -hmm. That's the name of my custom audience inside my Facebook account. Mm -hmm. As I go and run more ads, what I'm going to do is exclude you from seeing my ads okay. because you're already my client. Okay. Right? So you don't need to keep seeing Facebook ads. You're already my client. Okay. So for those that already buy your stuff or for those that already schedule an appointment or for those that already downloaded your PDF or whatever it is, and they already gave up their name and email, those will also go into a custom audience, which we'll spend more, more time on, on call number four. That's custom audiences, but I'm just giving you an overview now, but whatever the goal, whatever the goal was that was accomplished, that's a custom audience. And those are people that I'm going to be excluding from seeing future ads. Okay. Okay, so location, go ahead and change the United States. And let's just use this example as, as, as Jersey. We'll just, we'll just target New Jersey. So let's edit right there. Yeah, let's get out of that part and then just go down to the to United States. Yeah, edit, actually go back up to United States and just hover over United States and just go to edit. So we'll X out the US and then you can just type in um, a city, you could type in an address, you could type in, you could kind of type in whatever. Um, but if you're if you're local, then then you could type in a city inside of New Jersey, like you can you could take it as, as deep as you want, actually. Um, or you could keep... just target target the whole state. Yeah, the state is fine. Okay, cool. So what we'll do now is um, Okay, so now age, if we need to change age, we can change age, gender, we can leave the same um, detailed targeting, um, go ahead and, and edit detailed targeting. So right here, there's a couple different ways to do this. This is where we now start putting in different keywords. Mm -hmm. So what I'll teach you on call number, it's actually call number five, where I show you how to run this the right way, the at the 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 interest part, this part right here. Click on get get rid of that 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 box at the top, that um get started thing. Can you X out of that one? Is there a way you can? Um, now you can find all demographics and should be in one place, then combine them all in one. Okay, so just I guess click on get started. Click on the blue one, just so we can get rid of that thing. It doesn't go away. Okay, that's fine. So. <laughs> In the detailed targeting, what what we'll focus on right now is just is just basics, and and we're looking for interest. We're looking for, well, actually, you know what? You could break it down however the heck you want. I mean, go ahead and click on click on browse. Click on browse to the right. You got browse, so you can you can break it down by demographics, interest, or behaviors. So click on all of them. Click on demographics, and in here we can go education, financial, life events, parents, relationship, work. Like, you know, you should know if you don't already, you should know your ideal client. 
Like you should know the, the avatar. You should know freaking what they look like, the color of their hair, like the color of their skin. You should know everything about them, where they hang out, the type of magazines they like, the type of stores they shop at, the type of freaking influencers they probably follow. Like you, you should know exactly your type of, 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 of client. Um, because if you do, then you could break it down this way. I could be like, okay, well, shit, my clients are people who are married. So maybe I go to a relationship mm -hmm. and I target married couples. Or maybe mm -hmm. my client, I go to, let's say I click on behaviors, click on behaviors. Let's say my client are people who play soccer. Okay, well then shit, I'll go down and I'll click on soccer. Watch, scroll down, click on soccer. And then now I got, I could target friends of soccer fans, soccer fan. Like I can get as detailed targeting as I want. Click on purchase behavior. With purchase behavior, Facebook knows who buys shit. Like Facebook knows, which is kind of crazy. Facebook knows who the hell is buying stuff. So if I target engaged shoppers, Facebook is going to show this ad to people who are likely to buy because he, because they already know mm -hmm. these types of people buy. Okay. So this is something you'll want to play around with, you know, in the future and just look at all these different categories. Come in here, click on everything, because then you'll start being able to take notes and, and, and start jotting down who your exact client is. Mm -hmm. Because if we know that, we can we can find them and we could target them. You know, so so um this right here is super, super powerful. And we'll go into more detail on this on our, it's either on our fourth or fifth call. And that's what, what I call multiple ad sets. We'll, um, we'll go more into that. But for right now, just put in anything, type in any interest, type in, type in, type in nails or type in salon or type in, type in whatever. And, and here's another thing. Here, yeah. Type in, type in, type in the main, main keyword. Nails. <laughs> type it in type it in type in nails and then you'll see okay so look once you click on one so go and and over to the right you're looking at the size okay right okay. so over to the right it shows us the amount of people 2.5 million so yeah. all these different keywords have a bigger size we're obviously looking for for a big size um Nail salon, nail, nail anatomy. So there's so many different ones, but I want you to just choose one, uh -huh. and, and then and then and then we'll click on click on the next one. So just 41 million. So nail anatomy. Okay. So here's the deal. Once you pick one, and you always want it to be the main main one, whatever that main generic one word is. Nail. Uh -huh. Once you do that, then you can click on suggestions. And now Facebook's gonna give you all of the most powerful ones. So before they gave you a list of, 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 of certain ones, but now you narrowed it into nail anatomy. So now we can we can go deeper with even that word. Okay. Okay, so now we could target all these different words. Now, one way people do it is they'll take 15 of these different words and bunch them all here. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna show you on a separate call is how we separate all of them. Okay. It's how we run individual ads to individual words mm -hmm. and that's multiple ad sets i'll show you how to do that on our on our next call but um right here just you can go with job titles so we could we could target anyone who has that type of a job mm -hmm. which is crazy right so if we're if, if that's who our market is then then right here like employers you know people that have manicures that or, or pedicures job title like So, so we can get creative with this. We can really narrow it down and, and we can really find your audience is what this is all about. So we'll get more into this part again in, in, a, in a few calls from here, but um, we'll just keep it simple for now. Just put that one word and that's it. And then if you scroll down automatic placement, that's all you'll need. That's all, just always make sure it's on automatic placement. Okay, so automatic placements right there. You don't need anything else. So now we're done. Now all you're going to do is go down to the bottom and click on next. That right there is step two. That's the, the second 
step, that's the ad set level. That's the second tab. That's step two. Before, that's before I hit next, it's not going to charge me anything. Right? No, not at all. Not at all. We're not going to, we're not going to publish it. So just hit next. That's step two. Now okay. this last step, and then we're done. This is the third and final step. So now here is where we simply choose the post. We choose the ad. So what I always, always, always do that first. And then by the time we come over here, then we can just run that ad. We click on you selected page. So go ahead and hit that drop down where the red triangle is. You selected page and just hit that drop down and go down to your IG right there. Now, depending on our ad, depend on whether it's an image, depend on whether it's a video, it may not even run on Instagram. When we do run Instagram ads, we're going to do those completely separate, completely separate. But right now, just to get rid of the little error, we'll just put it in right there. But but most of the time, we're going to run them, or actually all the time, we're going to always run them into separately because Instagram requires a different size, a different size image, a different, a different, a, a shorter video. So if that video is more than one minute long, it won't run on Instagram. If the image is not the right size, for Instagram, it won't run on Instagram. So that's why you'll do them separately. You'll want to run run them se separately. But right here again, just hit the drop down and just, just fill the void. So that's it right there. Scroll down, create ad. We're going to go use existing post. And when you go use existing post, that's when Facebook wants you to pull it from your page. So when you hit select post right there above the red triangle, select post, this right here is where the ad will be. So these are your different posts on your business page. So whatever that ad's going to be, we're going to put it on the business page first. So by the time we come here, we'll see it right there at the top. We'll click on it and then we go continue. So let's just use that top one for the example. Click on that one with the purple hearts. Um, click on that one. We'll just click on that one. Yeah. And then um, actually, you know what? Those are all. Are those articles? Are those what? What are those that you posted? Those are just Instagram posts that link. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so those won't those won't work then. So if you scroll down, are there any ones without the red little stop sign? Actually, that one with the black. Perfect. Choose that one. Okay, so so again, it was posted on the business page first, and then we come over here and choose it. So hit continue, and that is the ad. So so. Before you get here, you post on the business page first. You make sure everything is written out exactly how you want it in the ad because that is the ad. So goes on the business page first. Now, again, depending on our, on our objective, we're going with video views. So the whole objective is to get thousands of people to watch the video. So when it comes to the call to action button, go ahead and click on add button. Click on that, that last one, add button where call to action um right where that red oh, okay. or that little blue thing is spinning this one okay yeah so right here so on a video view ad what i normally do is i'll hit the learn more hit the drop down and just go down to send message now it kind of doesn't matter what you choose here because that's not even the objective so we'll add the button just to add it but okay not many are going to send a message because it's not a message ad. It's a video view ad, yeah. right? Very specific. So update post. And then now you'll see it over to the right. You got the, the, the send message button right there. So as the ad runs, people will see that send message button. And again, oh. anyone can send you a message from that post, but, but no one is off the ad. It's not that type of an ad. Okay. So, um, it's strictly video views. And so over here, you can you can customize the message template. So just like I was saying earlier, when you run message ads, you can customize those messages. So if someone hits send message, that's going to send somebody straight into the Facebook direct message into Messenger. And I can set up a handful of messages that are automated that gets that person to answer to ask, you know, to, to, to answer my questions. Okay. You know, so scroll down. So we got we got start conversation. I can edit that and I can create a few different messages that are that are automatically going to go out. But but on a video view, I, I don't even care about that because I'm not no one's going to message me on that anyway. So yeah. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. So just scroll down. Tracking is already on. So there's the 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 pixel right there, the offline event pixel. And so we're good. So all you're going to do is click on publish. 
go ahead and hit publish. And this is when the ad is set to go into review. Now we didn't, <laughs> we set the ad to go live tomorrow. So don't worry about anything being charged right now at all. Um, and we're going to shut it off right away anyways. But that right there is how you run a full blown video view ad with the entire um, goal in mind of creating the custom audience, which is what we're going to do right now. And then, and then, and then we're done. Um, so, so now that ad is published. Now that ad is in review. Now that ad is set to go live tomorrow at 6 a.m. <laughs> so before we do anything else, here's what we want to do. That video, again, the whole objective here is to capture the audience of those who watch it. That's it. We're not sending them to a website. We're not trying to get them to buy anything right now. It's simply to track the data and create the audience of those who watch it. So what we're going to do is we're going to X out at the top left, just X out of this window right here. Not the tab, just the X on the top left of this right here. Yeah, this right one? there. Perfect. Now, the last thing we'll do is we're going to, um, first of all, let's X out right where you see the one selected in blue at the top, one selected, one selected, one selected. So these are our three tabs. X it out. X out the blue. Yeah, X it out. <laughs> so this is our ad. So there's the title, Pink Now Video. This click on too? the middle tab. Click on the middle tab before you X that one out. Click on the... Yeah, right there. Click. And this is the title, New Jersey dash M and W dash 18 plus. That's the title. So again, when you look at it from this view, you know exactly what ad that is. Okay. Because if you didn't label it, then you'd have to click, go into it, see who you're targeting, right? You'd have to do too many damn clicking. Like I just want to be able to look at it and know what ad that is, right? Yeah. So that's why the tiling is so important. Um, so X out of that one, one selected, X out of the one selected, and then click on the, the, the tab to the left, campaigns. Mm -hmm. Click on that tab before you exit out. So there's the title, video views. Mm -hmm. There's the title for that one. So now all you get, all you got to do is simply shade the blue to gray. So shade that blue dot, shade that to gray. No, the blue dot, mm -hmm. shade it to gray. That's what turns it off. Click on the uh -huh. middle tab, add sets. Click on the middle tab, shade this one to gray. Shade that blue to gray and then click on the tab to the right and shade that one to gray. You want to shade all three to gray. That's how you fully turn it off. Okay, okay. so turn it off, shade that to gray. Okay, now you always want to shade those to gray. Even, even though, even if this ad were to run and we ran it for seven days and we set the calendar, that ad is going to automatically shut off after seven days, right? On the seventh day, it's going to shut off. But as you come over here, all three are still going to be blue. It's going to be off, but okay. they're still blue. Okay. Get in the habit of shading them to gray. When that ad is off, shade them all to gray. Okay. On each on each level. Okay. Campaigns, ad set, ad. There's three tabs. These are your three levels. That's all there is to it. There's nothing okay. more to it. Okay. So shade them all to gray all the time. And then in this case, you can you can leave that here as the example, but you can also delete it as well. So if you click on more, you can also delete it. And delete the whole damn thing but leave that one there just for an example okay. um, but it's fully off so you don't have to worry about it now last thing we'll do click on the dots on the top left mm -hmm. now what we want to do we just we just set the ad it's set to go live tomorrow at 6 a.m now what we want to get in the habit of right away is creating that audience so now we're going to click on audiences so over to you can either go to your bookmark folder or you can go down here you'll see audiences um should be yeah perfect audiences Remember, it's all about custom audiences, okay? It's all about custom audiences. You have to be creating custom audiences of everything that's going on. It's all about these custom audiences. So right here, all we're going to do is click on the blue one, create uh -huh. audience, that blue button to the left, create audience. Uh -huh. Click on the blue button. Create audience, okay. Yeah, and then custom audience. Okay, so these are the different forms of audiences these are the different things we can we can we can we can um we can create now we'll touch more on this on call number three but right now we'll just do video like let's just i'm going to keep it super super simple let's just do video okay next okay so now we're going to choose a content type all this is is choosing how we want to create that audience based on what so hit the drop down mm -hmm. So if you have that one minute video, remember the 32 second video that we just saw? Yeah. That chick ran a 32 second video. We can create an audience of those who watch 25% of it. Okay. 50% of it. 
75% of it, 15 seconds, three seconds of it, right? Mm -hmm. So what I tend to do a lot is 25%. If, if a person watched 25% of my video, and it don't matter how long it is, mm -hmm. that's, a good enough, that's a good enough percentage to show you another ad. Okay. Like if you just scroll through the newsfeed and you see my random ad and you watch three seconds, that really ain't shit. You didn't, you didn't get to see much at all. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, maybe, maybe. But, but if I'm going to spend money on you and show you another ad, 25%. I want these people to, to, to have watched a good amount if I'm going to retarget them again. Okay, so I'll always go at 25% and then choose videos to the right. Click on that blue one, choose videos. Now, all you're going to do is look for that one that we just uh, set up, which is that one, the black one. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So now hit confirm. And now that retention, let's change that to 30 days because we don't want to track everyone who watched it in the past 365. Um, 30 days is long enough. 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. Always, always do 30 days. And then audience name, simply name it the video. So whatever video that is, start getting in the habit of, of knowing which video is what, okay. right? Like start giving it its own name. Black, black fire nail, perfect, perfect. Black fire nails, and then in parentheses, 25%. In parentheses, 25%. What's that? That's the percentage of, 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 of viewership. So we're well, not viewership, but that's, the, that's a percentage of watch time. Okay. So if it was a one minute video, these people watched it for 25%. Okay. So create audience. Okay. So now we have an audience of that, of 25%. Click on done. So now as we go and set up our ad, when we get to the second level, which is the ad set, where we choose our targeting, our age, our budget, right? Mm -hmm. That second tab. That's when we hit the drop down in the custom audience and we'll see that audience. So as I go run my next ad, right, I can hit that drop, hit click the box in the middle, in the second step, the ad set level, and I'll see that audience. And I can then now only target that audience and show them that next ad. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's breaking down the, the, the campaign objectives that's taking you from beginning to end on a video ad. And that's also setting up a custom audience based on those who watched 25% of that video. Okay, so that's that. Um, now, what we'll have to do, like, let, let's really narrow down your offer. Like, that's what we should do, do on our next call. Like, let's, let's narrow in what the heck we're gonna be doing. Like, what, what are, what's the main objective? Like. Like, if you don't know that already, think of that. Like, start thinking of that. Like, what the heck is, is who, who am I trying to target and, and what's my message? And, and what am I trying to ultimately get them to do? Okay. Because that's going to really determine where we go next with, okay. with our, with our next, with our next, with our strategy. That's going to determine where, that's going to determine where, where we go with our strategy. Okay. Okay. So I'll send you both calls um, later on today and then cool. and then set up your next call and we'll go from there because we got so much more to learn. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, Maria, thank you so much. Message me if you need anything. All right, bye. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.